All right, so I've got just enough daylight to uh, do a quick video. Um, I was planning on going on a hike and doing a bunch of stuff today uh, with a buddy, but um, between what he had to do and what I had to do, and then um, the time I had to be home uh, for this evening, um, stay home with the kids and stuff, uh, I just, I ran out of time. So I did want to um, do a show and tell. Um, I have been busy. Uh, we decided to just kind of as a family take it easy yesterday, so we just kind of hung around the house and stuff and uh, caught up on some chores, and I made this. Um, this uh, is made out of a bunch of scraps so that my, my wife found a big bag. It was like that thick and about that wide of just scrap leather, and I was able to pull out enough pieces to make this K-Bar case. Um, now, I'm by no means a professional uh leather worker you can see my stitching is all kind of cattywampus there but i did this with the all on my swiss army knife and a leather needle and artificial sinew so for for the materials and, and my skill level i i thought it was pretty good um i uh, i put two snaps here to help retain the uh the blade um and i have uh this belt loop and what's cool about this is i went ahead and put two snaps so I can actually you know put it around a belt and um, not have to like empty everything off of my kind of Batman utility belt thing I've got going on right now um, another thing I'm working on but I haven't um, been able to uh, get out and use it and do any videos on it is my new belt kit so anyways those snap back in you can see I've got a, a, a ferro rod um, loop on here and uh this i'm, I'm going to put a lanyard on this but this is actually retained by this strap so it isn't going anywhere and then i have this ring on it so i'm going to be tweaking that and then i have a, a whetstone um compartment which i also have a striker for the ferro rod i don't i haven't modified this to have a, a sharp spot on it to to uh strike a ferro rod so i just i just threw that in there and that just gives you an extra little tool to tool to have now one thing i do like about this that i couldn't do with my old case my old uh factory k-bar case was put a uh a ranger band on it the ranger band was so strong that it actually wanted to like squeeze it so this one is broken in this ranger band's kind of stretched out a little bit from being around an altoids tin and what you can do with that is i've got a little bit of extra real estate down here on the bottom that i can um you know tuck stuff in so like if i wanted to this is really in there but if i wanted to you know um you know tuck a piece of fat wood or, or anything in there that i found along the trail or happen to have extra i could put a, a bigger ranger band on there and, and and uh put that in there so anyways i really am am kind of proud of, of that so i kind of wanted to share that um, I was inspired by, I, I can't give any one person credit, this isn't necessarily my full idea, but I, I saw several knife vi knife sheath videos, and as I was making, I kind of made it up as I went, so I can't really give any dimensions or measurements or anything like that, um, or even a how-to like that. I, I just kind of figured, out, figured it out as I went, and I just kind of had fun with it, so that's that. Um, another thing I made was a new cover for my uh, tomahawk. Now, I'd, I'd had this idea for a long time, and I actually put, it reminds me of like a, a saddlebag, a uh, Harley-Davidson saddlebag, but um, anyways, same leather, just little bits and pieces, but it uh, holds on by a strap, or a snap, sorry, not a strap, and um, I measured this so that it can hold an Altoids Mini Tin, so I could put some kind of kit in this, um, I'm not necessarily sure it'd be like a fire kit you could but what mine i wouldn't put anything like too important in it on the off chance that either you don't have your tomahawk with you or you know i don't know you you need to pull it so fast you know and you're not worried about trying to take your mask off and you end up chopping into something and then you lose your kit or you you know you you have to run and, and fall or something like that and you lose your tomahawk so i wouldn't put a like an emergency item in here i'd put something like extra cordage or something like that which i do have extra cordage on my tomahawk it acts as like shock is over but i've got probably almost 
10 feet on that. And then I made a new case for my Leatherman Wave. Um, again, it's, it's not the prettiest stitching, but, um, and the snap isn't centered. You can, you can kind of tell it's off that side, but my original idea was to have it held in like that. So the snap was offset with the, um, to allow the, uh, pocket clip, which is an aftermarket deal. It comes right off, but so it would snap like that, but. It, it just, I'm kind of new at making these kind of box style cases and it wasn't quite as tight. So if I flip this around and allow that, that, um, clip to take up a little bit of that room, it's actually in there really tight. And I went ahead and snuck a hitchhiker on it in the form of a ferro rod. So I now have a Leatherman case with a, um, ferro rod and I don't have to worry about a striker because the saw on these throws sparks like no one's business. So anyways, that's, that's just kind of cool. Just some stuff I made and I wanted to kind of share and throw out there. Um, uh, again, you know, you can find DIY uh, 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 videos on, all, on how to make this kind of stuff. You know, um, you can really learn a lot from uh, some of these guys who... Uh, they're professional leather workers, but there's a lot of guys out there who give leather working tips. So anyways, I'm running out of daylight, so I'm going to go ahead and go. Hopefully I can get out in the field and kind of show, show this stuff in use, and we'll see how it holds up.